12 Best Things to Do in Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville is one of the most beautiful and vibrant cities in the United States. This charming city in the Blue Ridge Mountains is full of great activities for visitors of all ages. From hiking and biking in the great outdoors to exploring the city's many breweries and shops, there's something for everyone in Asheville. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our video about the best things to do in Asheville. Number 1. Blue Ridge Parkway Known for its stunning scenery and nature, the Blue Ridge Parkway stretches from Virginia to North Carolina. Known as America's favorite trail, the trail meet enters along the spine of the Blue Ridge Mountains, with phenomenal views and panoramas to be enjoyed along the way. In total, the scenic route runs an impressive 755 kilometers and connects Shenandoah National Park with the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Along the way, you pass through lush forests, with sparkling streams and fabulous waterfalls that are in the midst of its unspoiled and untouched nature. In addition to its many natural wonders, the scenic highway protects a number of important historic sites with charming towns and villages, as well as the Cherokee Indian Reservation, also along its route. Just outside of Asheville is the Blue Ridge Parkway Visitor Center, which has lots of helpful information and interactive exhibits about what is the most popular part of the U.S. National Park System. Number 2. North Carolina Arboretum Just south of town is the charming North Carolina Arboretum, nestled among the Southern Appalachian Mountains. Spanning a large area, it is home to beautiful landscaping and magnificent gardens, with state-of-the-art greenhouses dotted here and there. Walking its picturesque paths is a pleasure, since the extensive enclosure is divided into picturesque sections. While some pretty floor beds mimic the patterns of the Blue Ridge Mountains, other areas are nestled alongside babbling streams or dotted with gorgeous bonsai. Although its tranquil trails, sprawling azaleas, and fantastic flower beds are always wonderful to explore, winter is an especially magical time to visit. That's when twinkling fairy lights hang between the towering trees, and the Arboretum and Botanical Gardens take on an enchanted look. Number 3. Biltmore Estate At the heart of a sprawling estate sits the Biltmore House, the largest privately owned home in the United States. Converted into a historic house museum, it's one of Asheville's most popular attractions, with large gardens, stunning architecture, and beautiful rooms to explore. Built between 1889 and 1895 for the incredibly wealthy George Washington Vanderbilt II, the massive mansion is inspired by the enchanting castles he had seen in France Loire Valley. Hence, many graceful arches and turrets can be seen along with attractive facades, magnificent sculptures, and steeply pitched roofs. The interior is just as dazzling. The rooms, halls, and galleries, decorated in a decadent way, stretch to infinity. In all, there are more than 250 to explore. On top of all this, there is the glorious grounds to wander, with stables, wineries, and hiking trails to be found here and there. To see the best of the Biltmore Estate, it's worth taking a tour or staying overnight at your hotel, inn, or lodge. Number 4. Pisgah National Forest one of the first national forests established in the eastern United States in 1916. Pisgah covers a vast portion of North Carolina, with large swathes surrounding Asheville. Situated in the southern Appalachian Mountains, it boasts some truly stunning scenery, with enchanting nature wherever you look. Amongst its majestic mountains and endless forests are hidden roaring rivers and sparkling waterfalls for visitors to discover, with divine views to be enjoyed from its highest realms. Exquisite mountain biking and hiking trails wind their way through its wonderful forests and wilderness, with numerous picnic areas and campsites scattered here and there. Due to its scenic nature, the Pisgah National Forest is very popular with outdoor enthusiasts. In addition to hiking and biking, you can fish, climb, and observe wildlife in the midst of its forests. Number 5. Basilica of San Lorenzo one of the highlights of the city is the impressive Basilica of San Lorenzo, which is located in the center of the city. Built in 1905, this colossal Catholic church features magnificent Spanish revival architecture and is reputed to have the largest freestanding elliptical dome in North America. Although its attractive facade and dazzling red brickwork are certainly a spectacular sight, entering its cavernous confines is the highlight. Here you will find plenty of sublime statues and stained glass windows, 
as well as fabulous altars and works of art, all under its imposing dome. The beautiful Basilica, which is an important and impressive landmark, also has a couple of lovely chapels that you can visit, as well as a lovely little garden to wander through to the rear. Number 6. Asheville Botanical Gardens Right next to the University of North Carolina at Asheville are some beautiful botanical gardens for you to explore. Popular with locals, students, and tourists, they are home to picturesque landscapes, with quiet paths weaving through pretty plants. Established in 1961, the magnificent gardens cover a large area, with floor-filled lawns adjoining a sparkling stream and a wonderful wooded ridge. Dedicated to protecting and preserving the nature of the Southern Appalachians, it features more than 650 species of plants from the wonderful mountain range. Strolling through the Asheville Botanical Garden is a lovely way to spend a few hours. April to August is the best time of year to visit, as there are a plethora of blooming flowers and plants. Number 7. Village of Grovewood With numerous artist studios, galleries, and museums, Grovewood Village is located right next to the famous Omni Grove Park Inn. Once home to Biltmore Industries, the complex now protects and promotes Asheville's history and artistic heritage, with plenty to see, do, and buy for visitors. In addition to taking tours of the old industrial complex to learn about the Biltmore's past as a weaver and carpenter, visitors can stop by its magnificent museum, which has fascinating exhibits on crafts, textiles, and looms. The Estes Win and Tea Car Museum is also located here, displaying some brilliant models of classic cars. After learning all about the history, you can visit some attractive art and craft studios where you can see how jewelry, pottery, and sculptures are made, as well as buy some souvenirs. Grovewood Village also has two galleries displaying the works and crafts of local artists. Number 8. Lexington Glassware Along one of Asheville's trendiest streets is Lexington Glassworks, where you can watch innovative works of art take shape before your eyes. Since opening in the city center in 2015, the gallery has amazed visitors with its unique creations and hand-blown glassworks. Blending traditional and timeless techniques with bold designs and imaginative shapes, the studio's artists skillfully sculpt molten glass, bringing their colorful creations to life. Watching them is really a pleasure. They carefully hand-blown ornaments and glass lamps in front of you. As Lexington Glassworks offers visitors a unique combination of art, community, and beer. Visitors can also enjoy a local Asheville brew while watching glass blowers at work. With monthly music events and concerts, the studio is much more than a place to pick up some unique souvenirs. Number 9. Thomas Wolfe Monument In the heart of downtown Asheville is the stupendous Thomas Wolfe Memorial, which is well worth a visit if you get the chance. It was in this historic home that the famous 20th century author spent much of his childhood even using it as the setting for his novel He Look Homeward, Angel. The largely autobiographical book depicts her life in the rooming house run by her mother. Although she brought him fame and acclaim, the locals were so enraged by his writing that she did not return to town for eight years. The novel was even banned from the local library. Today, his childhood home is a museum and a monument to the writer, with many original objects on display. In addition, there are informative plaques and exhibits about Thomas Wolfe's life, his writings, and his own home. Number 10. River Arts District Asheville's charming River Arts District straddles the banks of the mighty French Broad River. Its once dilapidated and decaying warehouses now house more than 200 artists in a staggering array of studios, galleries, and workshops. Very creative and eclectic place, it has an incredible variety of works of art on display, with ceramics and photography found alongside glassware, illustrations, and furniture. In addition to touring its colorful and chaotic studios, visitors can take classes from the artists in their workshops. Since artists began settling in the abandoned buildings of the River Arts District in the 1970s, the area has changed considerably. Along with cafes, restaurants, and breweries, and even large hotels have sprung up. Number 11. Craggy Gardens Nestled northeast of the city are the lovely Craggy Gardens, which are nestled amongst the great Craggy Mountains. Named for the rugged rocky outcrops that dot its picturesque reaches, 
They are especially known for their fabulous floor displays, with June being the most magical time to visit. Made up of three equally impressive sections, the magnificent gardens are very hilly, standing more than 1,600 meters above sea level. In its wonderful meadows, flower-filled slopes, and exposed rocky surfaces, there are tempting trails to stroll along, with fantastic views over the Appalachian Mountains. Although many visit in June for the plethora of pink and purple rhododendrons, Craggy's gardens are always awash in color, with plants and flowers blooming at any time of the year. Number 12. Downtown Asheville Downtown Asheville is a lively yet laid-back place with plenty to do and a delight to explore, with something for everyone. Nicknamed the Paris of the South for its eye-catching array of Art Deco buildings, it also boasts vibrant arts, culture, and music scenes that visitors can delve into. While following the Asheville Urban Trail is a wonderful way to see its compelling artwork and architecturally filled streets, downtown Asheville is also home to interesting historical monuments and museums. Excellent art galleries and craft breweries can also be found downtown, while its many street performers make for a lively atmosphere. Plus, there are plenty of unique boutiques and stylish studios to check out thanks to the city's sizable artist population. With countless bars and music venues, downtown Asheville is without a doubt one of the most fun and festive places in North Carolina. And these are the 12 best things to visit in Asheville, North Carolina. Which one would you like to go visit first? Leave us your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you soon.